y'all. Welcome back to Everyday Mama. I'm Leanne, and today I'm going to take you on a walkthrough of my His and Hers Master Walk-In Closet and show you some tips about how we organized it the way we did. The first thing we kept in mind was keeping the floor clear. We knew we wanted to be able to easily vacuum and not let our clothes and shoes pile up here. So we keep our shoes downstairs in our walk-in entry closet. You can see this in my command center video. The second thing we kept in mind was how many clothes we wanted to have in our closet. I was afraid that I wouldn't remember to take one out whenever I bought a new one. So I decided to kind of create my own way to keep it minimal. We each are allowed 100 hangers. Those are my extra, so I've used about 92 hangers. So there's about eight over there that I can um, buy new outfits for. But once the hangers are used up, I know I cannot get any more clothes for in here. This seems to help keep it minimal and reasonable without having to think about taking one out when you put one in. My husband does the same thing. He has the black hangers, I have the white hangers. He has extras as well. I decided to use the upper shelf to display my purses. I've been asked before how I get them to stand up. I actually stuff each of the purses either with other wallets that I might change out or off-season clothes. It really helps you to see your purses so you can decide if it goes with the outfit that you wanna wear that day. I have decluttered my purses down to these few and it has really made the difference. My husband uses his top shelf to display his hats. Same concept, he decluttered as much as he could and as much as can fit on the shelf is what he has. I also keep my scarves and my jewelry hanging in my closet. I found one of these on Amazon and I hooked them to a hanger and it just allows me to really see what jewelry I have. It's two-sided. You could just spin it around and then I can quickly look and see if there's something I want to wear. This also helps me keep it minimal because if it doesn't fit in here, then I don't need it. I found this butterfly hanger at Amazon and it hangs my scarves nicely. My winter scarves always stay in the entry closet downstairs which is in that command center video. Just as I did for our gift closet in our guest room, I'll link that video below, I went out and bought two more of those three drawer sets from Walmart and put them on top of each other and this has become my dresser. I really like that I can break these apart if I wanted to put them side by side or when it's time to move one day, it'll be easier to get in the truck. I have undergarments, pajamas, socks, sweatshirts, things like that. And like I've said in my laundry video, I do not fold these items. For some people, they can't handle that and I understand, but for me, not folding my pajamas or my socks doesn't bother me at all. I just have separate bins in there to hold all my socks and all my undergarments separately. It makes my laundry folding process so much more streamlined. My husband has the same set for his side. And like I said before, these can break apart into two sets of three. So if your closet was more um, wide than it is tall, you could be able to still fit them. And on top, we keep it clear, but if there is a sweatshirt we've only worn once that we know we can wear one more time, we'll put it on top here, or we can lay out our clothes for the next day up here if we're getting up really early. There's lots of uses for that top. My last tip for you is the donation bin. We have a basket on each side of our closets and if there is a pair of pants or a shirt that we just put it on and it doesn't fit right that day, I'll throw it up in the donation bin and I'll wait on it a month or so and if I'm still not using it or looking for it, then I will donate it. Just having this here set aside makes the decision process a little faster and it helps keep clutter at bay and it keeps your clothes minimal. And now my favorite part of our closet. I just ordered this and put it up a few days ago. This is some wall art 
that says, in the morning when I rise, give me Jesus. Such an easy application. You just put it up on the wall and rub over it and then pull down the other paper and it's there. And I love that when I am getting up in the morning, getting dressed for the day, that I could be reminded of this. I did not want to put a mirror here because we have one in our master bath and it's steps away. So I did not need two. If you'd like to see that video, I will link that as well. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this quick tour of our walk-in closet and the tips about how we keep our clothes minimalish. We're definitely not extreme minimalists, but we do like to go through, declutter our items, and only keep what we need. It keeps our stress level down, and it makes the decision process easier in our lives. I hope you found some ideas for your closets. I will link any product below that I mentioned. Until next time, wishing you lots of simplicity, progress, and joy.